Hello, it's been a while at least for me, um, more than 30 days, so I have to bring this vacuum cleaner back together. I tried to find the same um, plugs as they are used originally. Unfortunately, I didn't have any luck, I couldn't find this kind of plug, so... I will put in a picture, I, I have to choose a straight plug which um, does... Ah, I put it on the picture here. You can see I had to cut the end of this plug so that I would be able to to make a little bend in the end with the with the cable, you can see how, how little space is left. So I, so I cut off the second part of this plug, which is for the, for the insulation, actually. But as we have this really well done holder for the cable so that it shouldn't move, I think it should be okay to, to not be able to squeeze the insulation of the cable as it is done normally on a plug like this. So I prepared the first one with my um, now I don't know if it is upside down as you can read it says crimp master here on top of it. It's a um, an applier I have for more than 20 years, still in top shape. And here on the top of it, you can see the, the shape it has. So I can put in the um, the plug, what do you call it? Not the plug probably, but yeah, maybe. And I can put it in here like this. And then it will bend it in the right way. Some people try to do that with um, pliers like this. But um, it is a 700. I, I looked at the, at the sheet, at, at the plate on the, on the on the vacuum cleaner and it says 700 watts and because it is 700 watts I, I want to have a proper electric connection. Also I, I thought about them um, to just cut it off, bring the copper somehow together at, 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 at the place where it is um, okay again. But um, when, you, when you touch the plug sometimes from the, from the wall then you can feel that it is already warm. And I just lately saw a podcast where a guy, um, he had um, soldered the connection. I mean, you can properly solder it and maybe put some copper around it before you solder it so that you have some little bit mechanical um, support as well. Um, but um, his soldering um, got true to the to the heat well he probably had quite a lot more heat than you just have on the plug on the wall but um so it got so so warm that the soldering actually melted and then um, then so it, it burned his thing so I, I i want to crimp it i don't want to solder it basically so now this um plier also come with this um nice thing here at the bottom where you can get uh, rid of the insulation it's um I have to find out that the one millimeter fits quite well. So, this is off. Just, just about the size that it fits in here where we want to crimp it. Sorry, it's a bit difficult for me to show. So I drill the cable a little bit to Make sure that everything goes inside. And then put it in the plier.
And now because I don't have to part it in the end with the insulation, I go pretty close to it, hold it down so that when I crimp it, it really catches all the copper. And now because I cut it here in the back, I try to give it, if it lets me, bring it a little bit in shape in the end as well, where I cut it. And now, very important, as I crimped it, you want to make sure and test if it sits properly, if it doesn't move anymore. And as you can see, the insulation is not inside the metal. It is not. This is very important. We only have copper and, and you see the copper and the metal. That's it. Okay. Good. All right. So, also one important step to mention, um, I, I released the cable um, from the vacuum cleaner before. Make sure you put it back in here again. And then it came up from here. And obviously I went over here. So I removed that, I took a picture, so I know how it how it was. Well, I filmed it, and finally we put it on. Now I have to take a little break, I think, because... Okay, it was over here. That means the blue goes here. Okay, um, you have the little a little wall here, and on the other side there is nothing, so the cable goes in this direction, so this is where the longer cable is going to sit. And let me do the same procedure for the ground cable. By the way, um, if you if you know where you find these kind of plug in a in a in a major um, in a major store online whatsoever, if you leave that in the comment, would be very kind for others. For me, it's too late. <laughs> Good. So I already had to cut it because it is too long. But you see, I mean, it doesn't move in here anymore. So I think it's going to be fine. So it's going to be over here like this. This is really. So I start from here. I hope I'm going to start. I'll check with picture in a minute. I stop it into a jack. So I have 
placed the cable in here. Um, you probably want to do it the other way around. So first you put the cable through the through this S to to fix it uh, to to hold it. And once you've done that, you want to plug it in here. I guess it's a little bit easier. However, it was it was possible to do it this way. So now I carefully turn it around, bring it in place. Be sure to not hit or to not bend the slider. Now I can see my cable. Ah, oh, here it slides even in. Here's a little shape of a nose that goes into here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. That doesn't go down right now. Uh huh. The cable bed in its own way. I realized that the blue cable was originally a little bit long, well, longer than it looked like. It was really necessary. Now it looks like... I guess if you put the ring first into this position as it is now, no, no, probably, but yeah, it's maybe a little bit easier. But anyway, you have to make sure that the cable is on this side of the ring, hold it down, get along with this little nose here, somehow, a bit tricky, <laughs> but, ah, oh, wow, now it went inside, okay, now I want to check again that nothing is Nothing changed its place, so to say. No, it looks like it looks okay. So good. Well done. My marker I placed uh, in the previous video is here. That helps, but anyway, you have to bring that. Oh shit! You have to bring the nose in here. Okay. So this one just came out like this. So think. You see I put a marker on top here. So that makes life easy. And I can. Yeah. Nothing in between. Now I just have to find out um what screws I used. So, let's go back to my movie. I just realized by thinking about bringing it, bringing it back together that um, it was easier to take it apart because at that moment it was broken. But now it should be fixed and work again, hopefully. So, uh, I brought over here all my screws you can see we have the very small ones that go now around the ring. And we have the great bunch, which is most of them, the four long ones that bring together the, the two halves, and two screws for the wheel. All right, so it looks good. So at first I'm going to put on the ring and then I have to think about um, how I bring the cable back on. I guess I will re... Yeah, then I have to think to how to bring the cable back on. So, let's first then put on all the screws. 
if you remember from the old video and from the first video they were very small so I had um, to use a flathead screwdriver and to cheat a little bit here to get the things because I don't have such a small torx unfortunately now to take it apart it was quite easy but now I have not such a good guidance of the screw well, well looks okay so I do it always one from on one side and then the next on the other side so just across so to say Not that easy. Mm. Is this true? Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't mix it up. So boring stuff, it's quite many and it's not that easy to do it. Uh, I guess you can as well go fast forward. So just four left. So it's a good thing to first turn the screw in the opposite direction and then in the direction it actually should go. So it finds the thread itself. Oh, here is another one. That's not really a thread, but what's left in the plastic. The last one below the slider unit.
helps if you stick it a little bit in the front end before you even try with the screwdriver. So, okay, all eight are in. Now let's check if they are tight. This one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight or is it ten? Mm. Nine and maybe even ten, not not just eight. So, all right, it was ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Right now, um, I guess I bring the slider on first because I want to make sure nothing, nothing breaks. Let's see if they are still um, properly moving here. Yeah, let's see if I've done a good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks good. So, there are two screws, if I remember, as it looks like here. Now I don't want to get the grease on my fingers. The cable is a bit sturdy. Be careful. Take it easy. All right, here it is. And now I can return to the Torx screwdriver. Thanks, God. Cable back in place. Mm. As good as it gets. So. Now, let's see. The cable belongs around here. Might look good to me. And the release for the sliding unit is oh it's here. The white the white one here. If I push it in this direction. Um, it is now totally loose. And oh gosh. Oh while playing around with it, I um, accidentally released the spring. So well, at least it is still on that round thing, but now I have to find out where it was attached to. And I think I just found it. ONG. So uh, 
Oh goodness, more action than really necessary. I'm just wondering in which direction it should spin off, I guess, in this direction. So... Ah, oh, here it is. No, it cannot be in that direction. From the way it is. Can it? Oh, oh yes, it can. Oh. Kind of easy. No. We will not want to release it totally as we found out, right? <laughs> because once it is back together and it would go too far back. It would certainly lose the contact to the to the spring. Did I say feather before? Well, more like German, I guess. Okay, now it is back. Okay, now it's back. Now when I put the cable around it. It will get. So it took me a little bit to to figure it out um, how I wanted to to go along with the or to handle that with the spring. <laughs> you have to think a little bit, and uh, I have decided to leave the spring in an almost loose way, so almost loose, not so that when the cable is totally inside that it can release itself again as it happened before to me in the video. So I put like 10 centimeters maybe um, more than it is totally released. And in the released state the whole cable is is already around it, right? This is when, when, when it is released, it is like this. You see the plug here. So this is the released state of the, of the spring. And now when I remove it, the, the spring is um, getting loaded, getting tight, that situation here. So as it is right now. And um, in here is the button to release. So, well, the button is not yet here, but you can use a screwdriver and now I can hit the button here. And if I hit the right spot, it will take it in until it is totally inside. While putting it inside, make sure you have the cable here in this area. This one then goes to the engine we just put in in a second, but before we're going to do that, before you put in the engine, don't forget there are two screws down here. And um, yeah, if you forget them, you don't want to. So they are on this side where the exhaust here and here. And with that, the, this is ready to put together. 
Yeah. So, the engine. Let's do that. Uh, okay. Oh. It's kind of given, I guess. Still from the shape. Going inside like this. So this one must be over here. And the cable is down here. And the black one. The black one goes. Oh. Uh -huh. There is a little slit here. So Oops. So, voila. It's kind of easy. I think. I'm not even sure it's both over here. Would be nicer. Maybe they were. At least they are now. <laughs> now the U shape goes to here. And now the cable then. They just live down here. And there is another one over here. It doesn't make sense to lose that one. Ah, oh, not again. <laughs> At the at the very at quite at the bottom, um, can squeeze your fingers quite easily. I get a light. Yeah, get a torch. Make sure the cable is. In good condition. Um, this is the white one goes here? Black one goes here. Don't want them to move too much. No, that looks really nice. I don't know if I showed that a little bit better on my... Oh, okay, I see the other... Okay, the other one was over here for this cable to put that in place. But, um... There is not really so much to do here. And this one is there. Okay, looks good to me. Now this vibration thing is, we have three pieces. So, I'm back. It was about that plug and you see when you don't have such a long break as I did, to bring it back together, you remember that there you have kind of um, rails to put this rail into that rail. So it's quite easy. Just move the engine a little bit to get some space. But it's now the last one of the three. So. But still, easy to do. All right. 
so all three are placed. One, two, three. The engine it turns, cable is in place. I cleaned it a little bit. Put some dust in it. Now this one is easy. We have just one place this how to how to put it in. Take the electric screwdriver. I put it in place. Okay. Check it by hand. Whoa, just perfect. Oh, this one. Okay, the engine is back. I could now basically do a test. If my repair worked. This is the switch. So I could just quickly attach the cable. And push the button and see if it does work. Let's give it a try. <laughs> okay, so, well, at least for the moment it works. Now, before we put it together, don't forget the spring and the, I don't know what it is, basically, but don't forget it, okay? Um, so, the filter, aha, uh -huh. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Or a hundred eighty. A hundred eighty. This one is it. Okay. But before I now push it in, I put that one here. Just have to make sure I understand how that works. So you have a little, just a hole on the other side, and so we hold it back. The cable is nice in place, the engine is tight. No screw. 
cruise, I forgot. Did I? No, I think there were no screws at the bottom of the engine. Oh gosh, I hope not. Uh, so now you can release the button here. The filter is holding it in place. Okay. Make sure the... Oh, how do you call that? The seal. Make sure the seal is nicely around here. No screws to tighten here. So take the other half. When I cleaned it a little bit, it might now release the and put the cable through the hole. Exactly. I don't know what it is for, I wonder. I'm sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This rubber door may be This rubber thingy you have to get through. And from then on it should actually fit. Alright. Now before I put on any screws, let's see how this works over here. If I I have to do that. Yeah, I can do that at the very end. I have two screws here from the side. Yeah, and then the wheel comes all, all over it. So, then we have the four long screws here. These were the long ones. And the short ones go around it. So I start with the long one to bring it in place. I guess that's the idea of them. And here we then also the second spring. Again, do it over the over the one across. Brilliant.
I have the screwdriver on the lowest torque on the one, but it's just enough. Wow. There's always this feeling that I forgot something, but I hope not. So, once we have all the screws around here, 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 and here, 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 and do not forget the two below here. So, you should now have only two screws left, a half of it, the button and the two screws for the wheel. And yeah, so this should be quite straightforward. The hmm. Okay. Let's first do a dry run. Oh, okay. This one goes in. In here, somehow. Hmm, okay. And the spring. Oh. Okay, so the spring goes here and the button is already mounted like that and it will then be pulled from th this area once we put that in. Now here is the switch, so we attach the cable to it. Make sure they are tight or old when you pull, a little, push a little bit, pull, pull. And now carefully, do you don't want to hurt the cable with the screws? Um, oh, wait a minute, here is a, oh, I almost forgot, here is a, a cable guide, so, well done, from Dyson, let's put the cable in here, save way, voila, Oh, that looks beautiful. Now I just have to... <laughs> okay, it looks beautiful, but how to... Uh -huh. Must go below here. And then... <sighs> you shove it a little bit in it. And try to hold the cable in place where's the torch mm -hmm. yeah that sh should fit yeah you can easily have a look from below it 
and let's lift the switch. Yeah, sounds good. All right, the almost the last screws, but not really. The wheels are still missing. drives in this direction this is the front where the hose goes so then I put an R in here so this is the drive direction this is the right side this is the right wheel and you have um, yeah, you have to make sure that it fits because the the bearing is inside here. So you can see that there is a little gap and this gap has to fit over here like this. And if it doesn't, you just turn it outside here the ring until it does. And you take the screw. fits Before you make it tight, test it. All right. Voila. Brilliant. That's it. This is how you take it apart and put it back together. I hope um, it's gonna last a long time.